Welcome to morning prayer for Ascension Day. Today is also day one of Thy Kingdom Come. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your throne has been established from of old, for you are from everlasting. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, to you be glory and praise for ever. From the darkness of death, you have raised your Christ to the right hand of your majesty on high. The pioneer of our faith, his passion accomplished, has opened for us the way to heaven and sends on us the promised spirit. May we be ready to follow the way and so be brought to the glory of his presence, where songs of triumph forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 110 The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. May the Lord stretch forth the scepter of your power, rule from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you on this day of your birth, on the holy mountain, from the womb of the dawn, the dew of your new birth is upon you. The Lord has sworn and will not retract. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The king at your right hand, O Lord, shall smite down kings in the day of his wrath. In all his majesty he shall judge among the nations, smiting heads over all the wide earth. He shall drink from the brook beside the way, therefore shall he lift high his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle See what the Lord our God has done, and exalt him in the sight of the living. Alleluia. Blessed be God who lives for ever whose reign endures throughout all ages. Declare God's praise before the nations, you who are the children of Israel. For if our God has scattered you among them, there too has he shown you his greatness. Exalt him in the sight of the living, because he is our Lord and God and our Father for ever. Though God punishes you for your wickedness, mercy will be shown to you all. God will gather you from every nation, from wherever you have been scattered. When you turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul, God will hide his face from you no more. See what the Lord has done for you and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. See what the Lord our God has done, and exalt him in the sight of the living. Alleluia. The reading is from Hebrews chapter 7, beginning at verse 26. For it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. This he did once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests 
those who are subject to weakness. For the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect for ever. Here ends the reading. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. God has gone up with a merry noise. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Tell out his salvation from day to day. He has led captivity captive and given gifts to his people. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. The Benedictus. I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Alleluia. And so we pray. Almighty God, on day one of thy kingdom come, we pray for all the work that we do in our parishes with our young children. Father, we pray for the children who um, attend our church and those who call themselves part of our community. We pray for their parents and carers and we pray for our leaders who work within our churches to guide and direct our children. Lord, we pray that the seeds that we plant in our children's hearts today will continue to flourish and grow as they grow. And Lord, we thank you for the blessing of being able to minister to children and young people. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>